Next question. Find a plus b the whole raised to 4 minus a minus b the whole raised to 4. Hence, evaluate root 3 plus root 2 the whole raised to 4 minus root 3 minus root 2 the whole raised to 4. So, what we will do first is we will find a plus b the whole raised to 4 by using binomial expansion. a plus b whole raised to 4 contains 5 terms, isn't it? Because the power is raised to 4. So, what is the expansion? a raised to 4 plus 4c1 a cube b we have to decrease the power of a by 1 and add a b plus 4c2 again decrease the power of a by 1 so a square increase the power of b b square plus 4c3 a b cube plus 4c4 p raised to 4 4c4 is 1 we know that it is the last term so we can write just the value b raised to 4 okay and again, write the next value. A minus B, the whole raised to 4 is equal to A raised to 4. What makes the difference? The middle term is negative. So, on the expansion, first term will be positive, second term will be negative, then positive, then negative and so on. So, A raised to 4 minus 4C1 A cube B plus 4C2 A square B square minus 4C3 A B cube plus B raised to 4. And I am going to subtract these two because I need a plus b the whole raised to 4 minus a minus b the whole raised to 4. a plus b the whole raised to 4 minus a minus b the whole raised to 4 is equal to. Instead of subtracting, change the sign of the second equation and add. That is what we are going to do. So this becomes negative. This is negative. This becomes positive. This is negative. This becomes positive. This is negative. So this is what we have written here. Okay. And a raised to 4 minus a raised to 4 get cancelled. 4c1 a cube b plus 4c1 a cube b gives you 2 into 4c1 a cube b. These two terms, one is positive, second is negative, gets cancelled. These two are same terms and we have to add giving you 2 into 4c3 a b cube. b raised to 4 and minus b raised to 4 get cancelled. So that is equal to 2 is common. What is 4c1? 4c1 is 4 a cube b plus 2 we took it outside 4 c 3 is the same as 4 c 1 otherwise just to do it 4 into 3 into 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 a b cube isn't it so that's equal to here 2 and 2 get cancelled 3 and 3 get cancelled here again is 4 4 a b cube first term is 4 a cube b and second term is 4 a b cube what is common from the bracket 4ab is common. So 4ab when taken to the outside of the bracket 2 into 4ab gives you 8ab. 8ab into balance 4ab came outside as not So the balance is a square plus from here also 4ab came out. The balance is b square. So what we are getting? We are getting a plus b the whole raised to 4. That was our left side minus a minus b the whole raised to 4 is 8ab into a square plus b square. And the question continues, hence evaluate. If there is a word hence, we have to use the first value to expand or to find the second value. If there is a word hence, we have to apply the first part to get the second part. So here hence is there, we have to apply the first part to get the second part. Second part what we need is root 3 plus root 2 the whole raised to 4 minus root 3 minus root 2 the whole raised to 4. This is what we require. Okay, and we have already this formula. Just compare what makes the differences. Instead of A, here we need a root 3. Instead of B, here we need a root 2. The other all remains the same. 4 is 4, minus is the same. Instead of A, root 3 is there. B, root 2 is there. Raised to 4 is there. So, left side remains the same with the value of A as root 3 and a value of B as root 2. So, right side is 8AB into A square plus B square. So, let's, so here also... On the right side also, apply the value of a as root 3 and the value of b as root 2. So, 8ab becomes 8 into root 3 into root 2 into a square as root 3 square plus b square as root 2 square. So, 8 into root 3 into root 2 is root 6. Root 3 square is 3 plus root 2 square is 2. How we are getting root 3 square whole square is actually root 3 into root 3, isn't it? Root 3 into root 3, we can multiply and make it into a single square root. So, it is root 9. Root 9 is 3. So, we, are, we can just write root 3 square of the square root of any number will be that number. So, root 4 square will be 4. Root 5 square will be 5. Same way. So, root 3 square we wrote as 3 and root 2 square we wrote as 2. So, 8, 5 in, sorry, 3 plus 2 gives you 5. 5 into 8 gives you 40. So, 40 
root 6. So the answer of root 3 plus root 2 the whole raised to 4 minus root 3 minus root 2 the whole raised to 4 is 40 root 6.